Welcome back to my channel. We're here with another video and this is a New Year's set. For the new year, 2023, we're about to get into it. And I'm excited for the new year, y'all, because it's I'm on that new year, new me bullshit. So yeah, you new year, new me, new you, new us. Okay? Bigger and better things for 2023. You know, I say that every year. And every year I have the same shitty ass year. How about y'all? Do y'all say that every year and every year y'all have the same shitty ass year? This year will not be shitty. This year will not be poop, okay? We're going to make it the best. I also say this every summer too. I'm going to go camping. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get lit. And you know what I do every summer? I don't leave my house. I sit in my AC because it's too hot. And when you're a big girl like me, you don't want to be out there sweating in places that you didn't even know existed. Oh, hell no. I know they didn't just beep like that in the middle of my video. I know they just didn't. So anyway, y'all, I'm proud of myself for this video, y'all. I'm proud of myself for this video because guess what? Guess what? I'm in frame the whole video, y'all. I'm in frame the whole video. So I'm excited for that. So yeah, we're getting better. We're getting more... Um, used to things. Uh, I was having issues last night, however, recording this video because some, for some reason, all of a sudden, when I'm using my heater in the back room, my, it blows my power out. Now, this has never done this before. Now, I don't know if I told y'all this story or not. Probably not. A couple months ago, now, I live in a three-bedroom apartment, okay? My electric bill every month was about almost $400. Now, that's more than a whole house. My mother owns her house. And I said, yo, ma. I called my mom up. I'm like, yo, ma. Mama Dukes. Yo, how much is your electric over there? Because my shit is crazy. Mama Dukes going to tell me, oh, like $190. I said, $190? Girl, what? You got a four-bedroom house. How is my shit more than yours? Well, so this apartment that I live in used to be my landlord's daughter's. I told y'all I live in a, a four apartment home. My landlord lives next to me and the other two apartments are her family. Her brother lives below me. Her mother and other brother live in the other apartment. Okay. Now, when the landlord's daughter used to live here, she and her uncle downstairs used to split a bill. Because it was each side of the house had one bill. It was under one bill. So I started to think. So so then I went back to my electricity box. Because I remember when the landlord came in one time. We were messing with my electricity box. And half of my house is on one breaker. Right? So one little knob back there goes to half of my whole house. Which is crazy. Because that's a lot of rooms on one breaker. One little thing. So then we were, you know, cutting them on and off, trying to figure out which ones went to what. Now there's four little things on my thing that have question marks next to them. Nobody knows where they go. So I said to myself, you know what, we're, I'm going to turn these off. Let's turn these off and see what happens, okay? I turned them off. A couple days later, people started wondering why their back porches were off and why their... Um, porch lights were off so I was like oh okay so we're connected to everybody else's shit no wonder why my bill's $400 so then I had I called my electric company and I said yo why is my bill so much so they said we could do a shared meter investigation I said oh oh y'all do those yes let's do them okay so they come First of all, they embarrassed me. I even called National Grid the day before. I'm like, yo, y'all aren't going to tell them, like, what this is, right? Y'all are just going to come look at the boxes and stuff, right? And they're like, oh, no, we don't do that. This is an investigation. We would never. They said we would never. So I'm outside. My landlord's pissed or whatever. I'm outside. National Grid guy's there. And he goes, he, he looks me dead in my soul and goes, oh, you said that the pool might have been on your electric, right? And I look at him, I said, you mother, you raggedy ass, snitching ass, 
No, I never said that. What? I... Me? I... No. Uh-uh. 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 Abort mission. Abort mission! So then, she looks at me. Dead in my soul. She was looking through the freaking... She was looking through the gates of he- the gates of hell straight into my soul, right? And I looked back at her and I said, No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, my bad. So anyway, she was pissed. She was pissed. So all of a sudden, after this... Now, mind you, before National Girl came, they had told the landlord they were coming. And these people worked on the back... Where the meters are on the back porch for like a week before, right? They were working on something back there. So National Grid comes, or whatever, my electric company comes. I gotta be quiet, y'all, because everybody could hear in this fucking shit. So they come. They told me that um, everything was fine, yada, yada, yada. All of a sudden, my electric bill goes down. Now, my brother said it's very easy to switch, like, breakers and things like that or run stuff to your electric. Now, I've had this heater on my back porch forever, okay? And it never has my electric just started going off like that, like, blowing circuits. Never. All of a sudden, they leave to North Carolina. And my circuits are fucking blowing. And I'm like, what is going on here? Did they hook some shit up that's like rerouted to my back? Like, what is going on? My son's room keeps blowing. My back porch keeps blowing. I'm like, what is going on here? I think something funky has been going on for a long time. Because there's no way my apartment, and I've lived in so many apartments. I've never paid over like $140, okay? And I'm good with my electric, y'all. Like, I'm good with my lights. So anyway, I think they did something funky. So I'm on a mission, okay? And I'm on a mission because I need to get on the old lady, her mom's back porch, who's about nine years old. I don't want to scare her into her into a coffin, but I need to go peeping because I want to see how many boxes are on that back porch. Now, mind you, the landlord's daughter used to live in my apartment. She evicted her own kid. Um yeah, these people are outrageous. So anyway, so they, like I said, her and her uncle used to share a bill because each side of the house was on one bill. It didn't matter if you were to two apartments or whatever. And her daughter lived in this house a couple months before I moved in. She kicked her out. So where in the two months now, this is a, we're talking about a lot of money y'all to get a whole new breaker And put everything on a new thing from another apartment. That's thousands and thousands of dollars, all right? I want to see how many breakers um, are on that back porch. Because if it ain't four for four apartments, we have Houston. Houston, we have a problem. And I feel like when my electric company came, they weren't really on my side. I don't know why. It was just me. I told my brother, yo, you need to take this day off work because my brother is ruthless, okay? My brother is very black and white. He is cutthroat. He doesn't give a shit about your feelings. He doesn't care. And me, I care about people's feelings. I sometimes, like, it depends who it is. Like, I defend myself. Like, I can defend myself. I'm not, like, a a wuss. I'm not a pussy, okay? A pussy. I am not a pussy. But... Sometimes, depending on who you are, like, if you're my landlord, like, I'm going to hold my tongue for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to just be like, yo, bitch. Ah. No. Okay? Because I don't want to be, you know, so certain certain people I can hold my tongue for. Now, my brother, he does, he's a Gemini. He has no cooth. Okay? He don't give a fuck. If you're a landlord, King Tut, or the president, you're going to hear what he has to say, and he's going to give it to you raw. Okay. Now I'm like that in certain aspects of my life in certain places. Like I have this thing where there's a time and a place for everything. I know that at, at my age, I know that there's a time and a place for everything. Now in my younger years, I probably would have popped off, but I'm not popping nowhere anymore. Okay. My bones hurt. My back hurts. Like my neck, my back, my pussy and my crack We're we're all it's it's bad okay so i'm not i'm not there anymore i'm not like rara i'm like more of a okay whatever you like to shut you up at at the time right so i told him you need to take the fuck off because we need to figure he's like well then he goes yesterday well if i was here yeah well guess what you weren't you weren't 
And you left me all alone. I was so embarrassed when that guy said the pool. I said, what pool? He goes, that pool. I was like, oh, there's a pool. Where did that come from? Like, yo, I was gone. They fucking, they, they threw me under the bus so bad. And it's crazy because I called the day before because I was worried about that because I was throwing all kinds of shit out. Yo, I was talking bad shit. I was like, yo, I think the pool's on my shit. I think this is on my shit. I, somebody needs to come here now. Okay. And. Yo, when they did that to me, when they did that to me, I was like, how fucking dare you? I should have got like $300 off my electric just for that. But anyway, moving along. Um, I was so proud of this video, y'all, because I was in frame the whole time. We were doing some serious application in here. Um, things were going on. So this was a test run because as y'all know, tomorrow, Friday... December 30th, me and Boogies, okay, Bugs, I call her Bugs, her name is Brianna, but I call her Bugs, aka Eye Grabbers, aka Boogie Two Times, we're going live on this beach tomorrow, okay, um, tomorrow night, exactly, around 6, 7 o'clock, um, 6, 7 Eastern Time, I don't know what that is, California Time, I don't know what that is, anywhere around the world, but on the East Coast, it's 6 o'clock, 7 p.m., okay, um, y'all figure it out wherever y'all are. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be so fun. So I just wanted to do a test run on these to see if I wanted to change anything. What else I might, I want to do, um, because I had an idea. Now I don't own a black acrylic. I own every other color acrylic, but I don't own dark acrylics. I don't own browns. I don't own blacks. And I own a lot of gold glitter acrylics, but I don't own those other ones. I actually just ordered a black from Dynamic Nails. Now, when you think of New Year's Eve nails, you think of like black, gold, things like that. However, I did incorporate black and gold into this set with the pink and the white ombre. However, I do want to change a couple things up. Um, I don't want to do them all ombre like I did in this. I want to do other things. So I'm glad I did this test run um, because this is what I had in my head when I was thinking about what I should do for the nails. Um, so I'm glad I did this because I'm definitely changing a couple fingers up. So this it will definitely not be the same set um, that you guys see Friday. But I'm so excited because I'm not a shy person at all. Um... And I really love to, like, do lives and stuff. I used to do lives on Facebook all the time. Um, but I just really only had, like, everybody on my face. I'm not one of those people who has, like, 4,000 friends on Facebook. I have, like, 400. And every single person on my Facebook I know in real life. Um, and nobody cares about nails like that. There's only, like, three girls on my shit that care about nails. So when I used to do the lives, it was like, wah, wah. Um, so I'm glad I can come on uh, YouTube and have all... The nail girlies come and, you know, have a good time. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about using a darker pink tomorrow for my nails. Uh, I don't know. This one didn't show up on camera too well. It is a pink. It's called Seduction from Elegance. Oh, yeah, the acrylics I'm using. So I'm using 24 Karat from Not Polish, which is an amazing, beautiful gold acrylic. It's got these pink, like, little flitters in it. Um, I seen Lisa use it on her page one time and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have that. It's beautiful. I'm using Milky White from Not Polish as well. Um, Ice Goddess from Secret Nail Affair. Seduction from Elegance Nail. And by the way, y'all, Elegance Nail Supply, um, I've been using her top coat and her, um, her mat. I only used on the one finger here, but her top coat is bomb AF. Like, it is everything you want in a top coat. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It glides on so perfect. Um, you don't get, you don't have to take med excess off. Like I haven't, I found good gel polishes, but I haven't found like the one. I think I found the one y'all. I think I found the one. Um, so yeah, um, uh, it's just so great. So, you know, that is something to think about. Um, but yeah, look at this 24 karat, dude. This is so pretty. So yeah, I definitely want to do a lot more with these nails. Um, I thought all that pink and white was going to be, because I did Ice Goddess and an ombre on the first finger and then just a couple white and pink ombres. But for New Year's Eve, I think there needs to be more. 
um, different things going on with the nails. So yeah, I'm definitely changing them, them up. Um, oh yeah, I also did a marble on the thumb. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I tried to make every nail sort of different, um, whether it be using glitter, but these came out very pretty. I was actually, um, really happy with these. I'm not going to lie. Like these were nice and I can see the progress in like every single set that I do, which is really cool because when I go back to my old videos, I'm just like, wow, like the progress you see is like. And that's cool because I can see that in myself. So I, I love that. I love that I can go back and look at like some of the sets I did before where the shaping was off and, you know, the application wasn't that great. And now I'm like able, I, I actually made my stand, my Archon mount, which is great for recording. So if you don't have one of those, get you one of those. Mine was 99 on Amazon, um, pr pretty much a hundred and something dollars on Amazon. It's great. Um, I put it in a way now I was doing it in a weird way. Like I was doing it where I could not see the video. Now I have it to where I could see the full screen of the video and what I'm doing in the camera. I don't know why I was recording like that before, but y'all it now, now I can see everything, everything. So I'm, I'm just so happy with this. Um, y'all can see everything because that's important in videos is that people can see what you're doing, how you're doing it. And my favorite part of any video is always the application part. Like everything else, I don't really, I just love the application. It's just so satisfying. So yeah, we're coming into the new year. I have some um, New Year's resolutions that I'm going to be looking forward to working on. One is quitting smoking cigarettes. Yes, y'all, I smoke cigarettes. Yes. The things you hear me lighting up in my videos are bogeys, okay? Whatever. Smoke Newport regulars, and I have to stop. I've been smoking for a very long time, and I'm going to die, y'all, so I have to stop. So I am going to quit smoking for New Year's resolution. This is my last pack. I've said this a thousand times in my life, but this year I'm going to do it. I quit for this year. I quit for two weeks, and I relapse on a coffee. I was drinking a coffee going to work and I said yo I just want a cigarette so bad and I went and got me a cigarette and I'm not mad at it but going into 2023 I need to stop smoking okay they're very expensive here in New York we're paying $14 a pack for cigarettes like I can save so much money I smoke a pack of cigarettes a day so yes like the money that can be saved is like ridiculous um so yeah let's get into this application oh well the application's over but <laughs> oh my god i used a couple different brushes in this video i used my new nail house brush the one i'm using now and i used my nails by dev brush because that is a great brush for cuticle application um the smaller brush and i have very small nail beds so if i use a big brush like this for my like cuticle application i don't know it never really works out for me things start happening things start flowing places they're not supposed to flow so yeah so yeah if i i need to stop doing that i hate that i really hate that when i listen to my videos back guys like when i do that so yeah i feel like punching myself in the video like i feel like grabbing myself out of the video and punching myself like why oh yeah no no absolutely the fuck absolutely no but anyway moving along so I was draining my beads. It was very cold when I was doing this application because, like I said, my heater was popping. Like, I, there was a point in this video where it went black, but I took it out. The electric just went out because I had to heat it up. I'm like, yo, I can't do this application this cold. Like, there's no way. So I kept, like, turning my heater on for a little bit and then turning it off, turning it on. And then I forgot about it at one point and it just popped and it just went black. And yeah, but I took that part out. Also, um, my nail tips, like every one of them kept coming off. Like when you use that matte method. So today, uh, not today, but for this, I used a top coat. I used a regular top coat and then I used the matte on top of the regular top coat. Because if you don't do that, that matte burns really bad. But the matte is good for adhering the tips like when I just do the glossy top coat, it 
it takes me a while to stick the tips on. Like, it takes forever. Those tips don't want to stick. So, the matte top coat, they stick, like, they're sticking to your fingernail. Like, your actual fingernail. They stick quick. So, I like that. So, I tried a different method today where I just did the glossy top coat and then the matte. But <clears throat> the matte, they fall off very quick. Like, the pop-off method is real when you use matte. So, I'm just going to stick now, um, going forward, I'm just going to stick to my top coat, my regular glossy top coat, because I don't want them to stay on forever, but I do want them to stay on for, like, filing and things. I don't want them to keep popping off, and I was really having this issue with these, um... You're definitely going to see my thumb pop off. I took out the rest of the pop offs because it was just it was doing a lot. So, um, yeah, but the thumb popped off at least twice in this video. It was like ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. Oh, man. So my electric went out the other night um, around like one o'clock a.m. And it went out and I'm sitting on my back porch now. Most of the time at night, I sit on my back porch in the dark anyway, um, but not pitch black. It's just dark back here. I usually can see my house lights on. And then all of a sudden, I'm sitting back here and I'm like, wow, it's like extra dark tonight. Like, what is going on? And then I noticed like everything outside was pitch black too. And I'm like, I don't know how long it took me to realize this because I started to realize when my data wasn't working, my Wi-Fi had went off. And I'm like, damn, my dad is not. What the heck? And I seen my Wi-Fi wasn't connected. I'm like, what is going on? Am I in the freaking twilight zone, man? It's pitch black outside. My Wi-Fi ain't working. So then I went in the house. And then I looked around my house and it was just pitch black. And I'm like, all right, Houston, we have a problem because my house is never pitch black. My kids are afraid of the dark and I leave the bathroom light on um, all night so they could see when they come out of their rooms. So, nah. Um, and then I went in my room and I'm like, oh yeah, the electric definitely is out. And then I looked out front and the whole, the whole town was out pretty much. I don't know why I didn't hear any car crashes. Like, you know how people hit the, they'll hit like, um, transformers and stuff. So yeah, that, none of that happened, but yeah, I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Um, and then I woke up and all the lights were blaring in my face. So, oh wait, hold on. I have to, um, I have to sign out of work. Let me... I forgot about that. I turned my um, my four o'clock alarm off because I didn't want it messing up my voiceover. And I have to lock out. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We're going on a trip. Is it four o'clock yet? Oh, it's 4.03. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. All right, y'all. Enjoy the video. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for being great. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. On the live, I hope y'all come. Have a great night, day, wherever you are. About to go get an iced coffee, too. And tonight's garbage night. I get to clear everything off my back porch. Have a great night, y'all. Like I said, subscribe, like, comment. Um, tell me if you love it here. Because I love it here, and I love y'all. So come back. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Bye.
I'm in a flame. 